Hey guys, welcome to our high tech institution YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to see how organizations maintaining their credentials and how they changing their password frequently, like one week's ones and then a monthly ones or six, uh, six months ones, how they're rotating the password. Okay, so those things we're going to achieve in AWS itself. Okay, so then let's get into the topic. In this session, we're going to talk about AWS Secret Manager. This secret manager would literally help to keep our um, credentials as safe. Okay, see, uh, let me see, just see this. See, your credential can be anywhere. Okay, so it can be a Lambda uh, API keys or else uh, DB credentials. You can easily integrate with this secret manager. Okay, and then the most, the main important thing is whatever the credential you want to keep it inside. That would be in, that would be encrypted. Okay, it can be a, a default KMS key or a customer KMS key. Okay, that you can decide at the time of a secret manager configuration. Generally, if you want to keep any information inside, means that will be in an encrypted form. Okay, so yeah, so and then important thing is if you want to keep more credential means charges would reflect accordingly. Okay, so before to configure the secret manager. Check the building stuff and then create it. Okay, buildings won't come in high end. Uh, small, you know, small amount of building you would get from here. But before that, uh, before before the provisioning, if you get that uh, building means, which will be fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see the secret manager. So today, what I'm literally gonna do is I'm gonna configure the database and I'm just going to place the DB credential in secret manager. Then um what i'm gonna set there is 30 days of uh, password rotation i'm gonna set there so 30 days means if uh, 30 days got completed means that prospective credential would change automatically into the database okay just for a security hmm? and then um i'm going to apply the encryption for that Okay, so these things literally today we're gonna see. So first we'll configure the DB. You can create any DB. Um, so first let's uh, spin the DB. See here we have a uh, two options: secret, secret. Uh, sorry, standard create and then easy create. Uh, let's go with easy create. And if you're gonna choose standard create, means here itself you can find the secret manager options to keep your the credentials. You can manage it in secret uh, manager like that they are they giving this option to you okay so those things we'll see after the creation so i'm just going with easy creation and in this session i'm just going to take my sql then go with free trial and i need to give the password so i'm just to give it like root admin then here we can generate sorry here we can give the password. Okay. So I gave the password and these things are run. I'm not going to update anything there. Okay, so I set the credential. Fine. Now we can create the database. Generally, this DB creation would literally take around uh, five to ten minutes. Okay, so we'll wait for it for this DB creation. See this DB creation in progress. Yeah. So now it's under the creation stage. And then see, you know, here they're suggesting uh, some things like. Uh, rds proxy and then um, elastic uh, cache cluster so those things we are not going to use we're just going to update the credential in our uh, secret manager then secret manager would do the password rotations and all so um, let's see so this is gonna take some time let's see the actual time rds db creation time in aws See, here yeah, they're telling five to ten minutes. Okay, so we'll wait for that and then we'll see. Okay. 
okay so meantime uh, what we can do is we'll go to the um, secret manager console so this is the console see this is the rising data they will stay uh, tell it. see point uh, zero point uh, zero five dollar they you know um, they are asking us to pay for uh, 10,000 API calls okay and then um, points 40 uh, means per month okay per month we need to pay but if currently we are using a free trial so that they give in 30 days of free trial to us so we don't worry about in this category but if we are using any other um, uh, you know that organization account production based account or developer based account if you're gonna use means this won't come there and uh, you know here they're telling the pay as you go model and then some benefits and features they're giving here same thing which i said and yeah and then not only a db credential if you have an IAM user credential means that also you can keep it here. Uh, IAM credential means access can secret access key. Keep it here. Okay, so that CLI authentication you can easily integrate it inside. And that also you can do here. And what will happen is this this secret manager would do some password rotation, right? Who gonna do this? lambda inside it would create a lambda function for us this secret manager would create a lambda function for us in that lambda function that we have a rule like when it should rotate the password okay when it should rotate the password those things would be Instead of this lambda function, okay, and then that if the trigger gonna, uh, I, sorry, I uh, know uh, if 30 days got reached means then the trigger would execute this function, and then you can convert this lambda function into any programming language with which they suggesting, um, like Java, uh, C sharp. Python, like and like that you can convert the uh, lambda function okay after the secret manager it would create a lambda function i'll show you mm, okay fine um let's go to the rds values let me open this mm. Okay, currently taking the backup. So this backup and all would take some time. Um, okay, currently it's only taking the backup, right? So let's check with the secret manager. Let's go to secret manager. Yeah, that one is coming. See, um, this is the interface and secret type, which type of secret you gonna keep here? api calls or db based credential that we need to tell here so i'm just going to keep credential for my aws rds and here i need to give the username and password which i gave in the um, rds console root admin and password i given the credential then here i need to place the encryption key if you have an encryption key you can give it otherwise you can go with this AWS keypad, sorry, AWS uh, KMS key. And here we need to choose the RDS, which is mandatory. Mm. Okay, looks good in this interface. Let's go to the next slide. And here we need to give the secret name. I'm just giving it like fraud DB thread. Okay, credit means credential. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Production DB credential. 
and if you wants to put any description or tag means give it here and resource permission and if uh, they, if other users if other resources wanted to interact with this means we can give those permission here and then it would replicate the secret in a different location and uh, i'll just skip i'll just move on to the next and then see configure automatic rotation okay i'm just going to enable this okay so when this one should do see one minute once you wanted to change the password mean also that also you can perform here sorry uh, not one minute per hour okay minimum uh, per hour this would take so what i'm gonna do is month so one month once it should uh, change the password okay so in month first day okay first day means and check which was on uh, tuesday but it would start on monday itself mm -hmm. and then starting time if you wants to give means uh, put it here otherwise it would take the utc 12 o'clock and windows duration and rotate immediately rotate immediately when the secret is stored the next rotation will begin on your schedule if you wanted to rotate your credential immediately after the secret creation means you can give it here and see um, create a rotate function and then use a rotate function from your account so i don't have any rotation function so it can create a new one i'm just giving the uh, lambda rotation function name um, lambda secret i'm just giving like this and okay so looks good go with next and see this is the code which they are giving by which they are given by aws okay java you wanted to convert in python easily convert it see secret name and then region and this one gonna happen and then this is the exception handling things so go and store it okay we have updated let's go and open the lambda function okay so this lambda won't come quickly because we just before we initiated only the um, secret okay we just uh, stored our secret so this would that would take some time to initialize the secret manager function see uh, yeah so that uh, secret manager lambda uh, function